Hello Gearspace, this is Giovanni here at Fraptools and we are here at Superboot Berlin 23 and we are showcasing our new module, the Kunsa filter. We have four, let's momentarily remove the audio, we have four uh, analog multimode resonant filter with pink circuits, Volper Active tracking, uh, resonance without losing the bass content, and also a custom uh, saturation circuit that allows you to have different flavors of distortion. Right now, we are listening to the uh, low pass filter output of the first state variable filter. We are processing a sawtooth wave from the brain. So, so this is the plain sweep sound with no Q and uh, the most uh, tamed and no saturation. We can switch it to 24. And then we have also the bandpass and the high pass outputs always available. We can introduce some resonance through the Q knob up to very high levels and have a very clean and liquid sound if we don't overload the circuit. But the input VCA allows us to go past uh, unity gain, so we can drive the filter and at this point we can decide how the filter should respond to an overload signal. So for example, we can have a soft clip circuit similar to the CGM uh, mixer that tames and keeps everything under control or we can really make it saturate. I'm gonna lower the volume because it's gonna get really hot like this and with this setting here we really have a more screaming uh, cue setting which uh, it becomes more evident as we use the other output for example the band pass or the high pass and it is nice to see that the filter is capable of self oscillation so if I remove the input I have a sine wave that tracks the volt per octave. So I can use also Kunsa as four separate vo uh, uh, sine wave oscillators. And uh, then uh, everything, uh, the, um, uh, every filter also has this uh, ping circuit, which responds uh, to trigs and gates, and it is also AC coupled. So we can uh, feed, for example, some trigs from Sapel here and have a very organic decay sound like this sorry that can affect uh, either the frequency alone or the frequency and the VCA and of course we can add some resonance to this and from saturation as well like this. So uh, the four filters have this system of semi-normalization so that we can feed the same signal to all, every input past the one where we pass our input. So for example, right now I am uh, inputting a salt to, to filter one, but I am also feeding filters two, three and four, which I can listen from here or from here or here and you can hear that they are sweeping because I have already passed the signal to the ping input which is semi-normal to the other one so the PCA CV, the audio input, the Volper active input and the ping circuit are all semi-normal right wise so for example if I pass a sound to filter number three I am feeding filters three and four but not for example filter one which is currently empty and which I can use to create for example a kick drum by making it self oscillate and taking advantage of the ping so this is just a pure sine wave with the custom decay curve like this and uh, all these filters are uh, available in, in parallel through this analog mixing section here. So we can listen to the final output and uh, use four filters together at the same time for some advanced sweeping stuff. 
So now we are listening to four filters. We can define the presence of each filter. For example, this was a little bit loud and we can balance them through these faders. Or we can also overload the output stage like this. And everything is available also in uh, uh, two separate outputs. So we have the left and uh, the leftmost filters, like filters one and two, and filters three and four on a separate channel, and we can use them in stereo, like this, for more extreme spatialization effects. So, and finally, we have also a dry output section that provides the sum of uh, every signal we patch to the input section, but uh, post VCA, so it retains the any ducking information and pre-filter. And um, I think that um, this covers up pretty much everything. We have CV over every parameter, and the four key parameters are semi-normal, and that is what makes Kunsa really more than uh, a sum of uh, just four filters, but a truly um, self-contained uh, and expressive environment. And and I guess that this is it for the first introduction. As I said, I am Giovanni from Fraptus from Superboot Berlin. And hello again to the people at Gearspace for watching us. Goodbye. <laughs>